Hey guys, today we'll start our series of tutorials of Kodu Game Lab. Here we are on the main menu. Let's create our empty world. Click on the new world option. Select the empty one. We start with an empty map. On the bottom part of the screen, there's multiple options, and today we'll go through all of them. On the home menu, you can play the world, edit your world, save the world, share your creations with the community, load the world, new world, print code for level, or add it to the main menu. Let's go back. So, you also have the play button. This is where the action will happen, but as you can see, nothing happens right now. But it will in the future, I promise you. You also have the move camera option. And here is where you'll spend most of your time. On the top left, you'll see all the options available to you. This will be the same for all the other modes or options. You can drag or move the terrain around using the left click. You can rotate the camera around using the right click and zoom in and out using the scroll button on your mouse. The next option available is awesome. With the object tool, you can click anywhere on the map to spawn anything. You have multiple options. Codo, Rover, Apple, Objects, Tree, Pipe, Underwater, and Rock. Let's spawn for now a code. You can click on an object to change its color using the left and right arrow keys. Clicking on an object, you can program it. Change settings, rename it, cut, copy, change size, rotate, and change height. You can also drag the object around. The next option is the path tool. In the future, we'll be using this to set the path for our NPCs or bots in our future games. You also have the option to undo change here on the left and redo function to go back. Now the ground brush tool. With this tool you can paint the world as you want. You can change the color and the pattern. There's a large number of options. You can also choose the different types of brushes. To create hills or valleys, you can use the up, down option. Left click to create mountains or hills and right click to create valleys. Here is the same. You also have different types of brushes. To smooth or flatten the terrain, you can also have the flatten tool with different types of brushes and sorts. To make hills in a more aggressive way, you have the roughen option. This creates a more hilly or spiky ground. You have the option to add water to the map, multiple colors as well. Let's use the default water color. And let's make the codo swim. If you want to reduce the water, you can simply click on the right button of the mouse. Let's delete the codo object with the delete tool. You can delete objects with this tool and as always here is multiple brushes available for you. To change the world settings, you can click on this button. There is multiple options here. Let's just change the sky color. We can change whatever we want. And let's now change the lighting too. There's a lot of options available. 
In the following videos, we'll change some of these, but for now, just ignore them. Let's go back. And it's everything for this video. I'll see you there in the next one, where we'll see how we can save, load, or import a world we have created. See you there.